Hello, my name is Michael Gabianelli, and welcome to another episode of Tech Talk Tuesday. In today's episode, we will be talking about carabiners. Carabiners are a very important piece of technology that we use in the climbing world. It is really an integral piece of gear that we use almost every second when we are climbing. Um, the modern carabiner was actually invented in 1921 by a German climber named Otto Herzig. Um, he found that they would be a quicker and easier way for him to attach to his protection because until that point, climbers were actually untying their rope, passing it through the protection, which is what holds us onto the wall, and tying back into the rope. So at any point that they needed to be anchored to the wall, they would have to untie and become unsafe. The carabiner reduced that or got rid of it completely. And so with a carabiner, you can just clip your rope right into right into the carabiner and not have to untie it and it still holds you and fastens you to that piece of protection so carabiners are very 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 important um all carabiners are going to have the same pieces and parts and we're going to go over those right now so this uh back section of the carabiner is what we're going to call the spine of the carabiner so the spine of the carabiner is this back section right here this upper section here, this this little area right here is gonna is the nose, and so that's the nose of the carabiner. This area here, that thing I just opened up, is called the gate. And down here in this area is called the well. And so all carabiners, no matter their shape or type, will have those same pieces. So as we go through and I say, oh, this one has the what on the gate, you'll know that the gate always means the part of the carabiner that opens. Great. So now that we know the parts of the carabiner, let's talk about the different kinds of carabiners. There are two main kinds of carabiners. Um, those are locking carabiners and non-locking carabiners. Um, a, a locking carabiner has a mechanism on the gate which prevents the gate from opening unless that mechanism is disengaged. And so now I can open that gate. With a non-locking carabiner, just like it sounds, it doesn't have that mechanism. So it's always free to open and close. Both of them have their uses. Um, obviously, non-locking carabiners are easier and faster to use. So they're good for when you're on the wall. Um, and locking carabiners are more secure and won't open on accident. So they're really great for building anchors and um, really t like fastening yourself to the wall, that kind of thing. Within each category, we also have different kinds of carabiners within locking and non-locking carabiners. So let's go into locking carabiners first. So first difference you can have in a carabiner is the shape, and that's for both. Um, I only have what we call a pear-shaped carabiner uh, with my non-locking carabiners. It is really one of the most beneficial shapes. Um, it also is great for how big and wide this opening is on these pear-shaped carabiners. They're very good for rescue um, and, and used for belaying a lot of times. This mechanism here, though, is what we call a twist-lock carabiner. And so I can twist this sleeve and open it up. When I close it, it locks automatically. So that's a really nice feature. Um, before that, people were commonly using what we call a screw lock carabiner. And so on this one, you can open that gate, right? And when I close it, it doesn't lock. If I want to lock it, I'm going to go ahead and turn that sleeve till it stops. Boom. And it is now locked, can't open. The nice thing about these is you have that manual control of the lock, which is nice. And um, But you do have to remember to lock them, right? And if you don't lock this, it's not locked. Um, here's another example of a twist lock. See, right? So they can come in different sizes as well. So not just in shape. And then I have an example of a, a kind of a weird and new type of technology. This is what we call a magna, magna lock. And it actually has two little buttons here that are disengaged magnets that that attach the, the locking mechanism. So once I close it, it's automatic. And those magnets are keeping that, that gate closed. This is kind of a cool little carabiner. Somewhat expensive, but very cool technology. So those are some of the uh, locking carabiners that um, are most commonly seen um, in the climbing 
world. Um, again, those can come in many shapes, right? And so those were all pear-shaped carabiners, but they could be D-shaped carabiners. So this is a D-shaped carabiner here. Could be an oval-shaped carabiner. This is an oval-shaped carabiner here. Um, however, you will most commonly see the, the pear-shaped carabiner, since this is probably one of the most effective shapes for a carabiner. Um, and that brings us into our non-locking carabiners. Again, our non-locking carabiners, we're going to use those for things like quick draws, right? And so you can notice on this quick draw, both non-locking carabiners quickly attach it to the wall, quickly attach your rope to it. It's not necessarily as safe in regards to how this gate can open, right, without, without being locked. That being said, you don't want to be up there locking each one of these as you're climbing because that will might make you unsafe as well since you might might fall since you have to take all that extra time. So that's a, that's a real-world application for these non-locking carabiners. And normally what you're going to see in these, what makes a difference is the shape, obviously, again, and also the gate, right? So we have two examples. of They're about the same size. They're both a D. This one's what we call a solid gate carabiner. Straight gate, solid gate. So it's a straight gate. And that gate is a piece of solid metal. Over here, pretty much the same carabiner, we have what we call a wire gate. This is a wire gate. And so this is much smaller, much less material. It's a lot lighter. But um, they, they these gates can be a little bit easier to open, right? So... Um, a solid gate will have a little more forgiveness. Um, and that solid gate, right, we have this solid gate here, can also come in what we call a bent gate. So you can see that this gate is bent. Um, and that just aids in getting that rope to pass into that channel. So it gives you a slightly bigger opening when you open that carabiner. Great. Okay, so that is Carabiners 101. Um, of course, there's a ton of different styles and kinds and sizes out there. And really, you want to make sure you're picking the right carabiner for your application and what you're going to be doing with it. Um, uh, as you go through and get more into climbing, you'll be collecting these things all over the place. And as you can see, like on my rack here, every single one of my cams is attached to my rack using a carabiner. And so just like I said at the beginning, Climbers um, will never be without a carabiner. Carabiners are an integral piece to our climbing system. Uh, hopefully you found this fun and interesting, and uh, we'll see you next week. This has been Mike and Tech Talk Tuesdays.